Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Metroid. Last time we uh, did a lot of things actually. Uh, after the Sari station was under attack by space pirates, Ridley, one of the main guys of the space pirates, flew off with the baby Metroid hatchling and we came here to Planet Zebus to try to find him and take back what's rightfully ours. So, uh, yeah, that's what we, uh, that's the basic story up to this point. Uh, we have alerted the space pirates of our presence. We fought a, uh, Torizo statue and got some bombs. Uh, we also have the Morph Ball and some missiles, too, so... Uh, we're pretty good to go at this point. Uh, we can go back and explore a little bit of that big room where our ship is, but we're not gonna be able to do anything, so... Let's go ahead and just move forward. Because we can bomb this wall right here. And it will take us to the next part of the game. We have these little uh, clam guys and these little spiny guys. They remind me of spinies from the Mario series. And I believe if we come down here, we'll have our first energy tank. What energy tanks do, uh, they basically give you 100 more health. Uh, above our energy, on the top left, we have these little pink squares. When the pink squares are full like that, that means that we still have a tank active. But once we lose all 99 HP from this tank, the tank will actually go to a much duller pink, which signifies that the tank is empty. But we can restore tanks basically by getting over... Uh, 99 HP of the current tank or the uh, no tanks basically so that's uh, how those work uh, these guys can only be taken down with missiles so bring lots of missiles here and down here we have our another pink door uh, we're not going to be able to do anything over here but I'm going to go ahead and show this off anyway we enter this room, we'll find a giant statue room that has a picture of Ridley, what looks to be a picture of Kraid, another one of the space pirates, and two other creatures. I think we'll have to come back here later once we've actually uh, done something with all of these creatures, so yeah, let's leave. But remember this room, because this room will be very important at the end of the game. Hint, hint. Okay, so, let us continue. We have another one of these rooms. Uh, you can't destroy these guys unless with missiles, I think. I'll go ahead and test that theory. Actually, no, you can't even use missiles, so forget I said that. Uh, these little things, these are larva nests. If you uh, shoot them enough times, uh, you'll actually uh, be able to get a lot of missile pickups and energy pickups. But the little creatures can't actually hurt you if they get in your way, so be careful of that. And in here, we actually have another elevator. This will actually take us back to Brenstar, but it'll take us to another area of Brenstar that we haven't been to yet. Uh, what I like to call the uh, greenery side of Brenstar. Because, as you can see, lots of green. And no, I did not want to go up the elevator. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm such a weirdo. Why did I do that? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just wasting your time, aren't I? Indeed I am. <laughs> okay, well let's uh, not do that this time. Let's actually explore, because I know that you guys want to do that. You want to see more of this game. You want to be more involved with this game. You want to see what to exp that there is to see here on Planet Zebs. Uh, we have some new enemies here. They're not too bad. They do a little more damage than the creatures we've already fought at this point, but... Eh, they're not too terrible, I guess. Uh, we have a few doors we can enter. Over here is a room that has these little uh, hopper things. Those guys can actually do a lot of damage, so be careful. Also, I think we can uh, yeah, break through this. And then go over here for what I think is a map station. So we can actually see more of Brinstar now. And yeah, Brinstar's a pretty big area. And we'll be uh, becoming much more acquainted with it as well. There's lots of stuff to do here in Brinstar, that's for sure. 
Okay, so let us uh, continue on. We'll break open this little latch right here. Oh god. I hate those hopper things. They're just kind of annoying. I don't think too many people like those things anyway. Uh, over here we have a pink door again. Which, if we come in here, we can actually get a pretty easy missile tank. Uh, you can actually make it through this door with the equipment that we have. Although you're intended to actually come back later with the uh, speed booster. But you, by using some advanced techniques, you can actually get through here and get some uh, pretty early items. So I uh, just want to keep that in mind. But for now, we're going to move on. We just came in here for the missile tank. Is, well, that's the only reason why I came in here anyway. Uh, very quickly, let's go in here. I think this next room is actually kind of important. I think. Oh, uh, we have these guys. These guys light the room, so you may not want to destroy all of these guys. Uh, so keep a few of them alive. Because you don't want to step on some spikes that you can't see. And here we have a missile recharge station. All of your missiles will get... Um, Reset to full, which is really nice. Very, very helpful thing if you uh, find one of those areas. Make sure you remember all of their locations, just in case you need a fill up. Although I don't think that'll ever really be that important to me, because uh, I'm always going to have a lot of missiles. Since I pretty much know where a lot of the things are. Uh, I'll go ahead and destroy this door. I think I'll go ahead and go inside, too, just to register that we have broken the door. Uh, once you break a pink door or a green door or any colored door, uh, they will return to blue hatches once you break them. So, uh, this is a pink door. It'll be a pink door until we destroy it, and then it'll become a blue door after we destroy it. So, that's nice that you don't have to keep wasting items. But, yeah, we found another save point, so let us continue on. We're going to go down here to the pink section of Brinstar, as I like to call it, because it's all pink and uh, lots of mushrooms and uh, spores and everything. Ah, come on. I'm not the greatest uh, Metroid combatant, I guess you could say. But, again, this game's not too hard, I don't think. This is probably one of the easier Metroid games. Again, probably not if you sequence break everything, though. But that's kind of a different story. Uh, we can go up, and we're actually supposed to, but before we do, we're going to come down here and grab a few goodies. Uh, here's one of the sequence breaks areas I was kind of talking about earlier. Uh, you can actually get up here using a wall jump, and you can grab that missile tank. Uh, you're intended to come back with a grappling hook, which uh, allows you to uh, latch on those little plus sign blocks up there. But uh, I want to see if I can grab this without actually uh, getting that. Yep, okay. So yeah, you don't actually have to get that later. You can actually grab that now if you're skilled enough. Thankfully, the wall jump's one of the easier techs to use. Also, uh, is there anything else we can grab? Oh, we need power bombs. Well, we do not have power bombs, so we'll come back later once we have those items. Uh, there is a yellow door right here. Yellow doors need power bombs as well, so once again, we'll come back later. And right here we have another missile tank. But that's not all we have over here. As you can see, we have these two little weird blocks. And you can also see kind of the bottom part of a... Or the top part of a room below us. So if we destroy those and come down here, we'll find the... I think this upgrade's actually optional. I think. But we have the charge beam. What the charge beam does, if you, so you hold the shoot button... Uh, you can actually charge up your uh, normal shot, and then you can fire it for a more powerful shot. Uh, charge shots are kind of like missiles. 
Uh, they can't destroy hatches or anything, but um, basically you can attack uh, bosses with the charge shots that you can't do with a normal shot, so charge shots are pretty handy for the most part. Also, there is a power bomb switch here, which means there's actually a secret behind this Kozo statue, but we can't get it yet, so let's come back later. Over here we have a green door. Green doors require super missiles to get through. So I have a feeling we'll actually be grabbing our first super missiles very, very soon. I really love super missiles because super missiles are, I think, the best item in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, there are a lot of enemies that have special defenses to super missiles, but... Normally when you can fire a super missile at something, it'll do a lot of damage, so keep that in mind. We're going to climb all the way to the top now because we can't do anything down below. Okay, stop moving around. Quit moving around! I always like making that Star Fox reference. Over here we have a save point. And I just realized, I'm about dead. I didn't even think about that. Um, I might need to get some health somewhere. Um, don't think we have a energy restore station yet, but... Uh, I think the enemies around here are pretty um, easy enough to actually farm for energy, so... Oh, we have a little uh, recharge station right here, actually. Uh, whenever you have enemies like these that pop out of a pipe uh, in infinitely... Uh, these are actually good places to recharge your missiles and your health. Because the enemies never die, and they can usually be destroyed in one shot, so... Keep that in mind. And we're good. Actually, before we go in that door, let's see if we can get some missiles. I'd like to go into this next part with a full stock. Oh god, grasshopper dudes. This is why it's kind of good to have the charge beam, because I believe that, yeah, they can be one-shot with the charge beam. Making this section a lot easier. But anyway, let's actually uh, go up here. Where we have another mini-boss. This mini-boss is called the Spore Spawn. He drops these little spores that don't really do much damage, uh, but you mainly want to try to avoid him, because I believe he can do a lot of damage if you touch him and his spikes, so be careful of that. Uh, at some point, he'll open his mouth where he can fire missiles and not miss like I did. The one thing I hate about this boss is he takes forever to open his mouth. Okay, come on. Dang it. Why am I... Okay. Maybe I should stick hard shots or something. I don't know. Or maybe I should at least jump on one of these platforms when he actually uh, stops. Yeah, like this. Yeah, normally you can get about two missile shots in his mouth. That's usually what you want to aim for. seems to always open his mouth on this side, so maybe I'll stay over here. I think that seems like a good idea to me. And yes, he will get faster the more missiles you shoot into his mouth, so be careful. And yes, the more you hurt him, the more brown he'll turn. Usually when a plant's brown, that usually signifies that it's about to die, so... I'm liking that very much. I'm not liking I'm taking a lot of damage from this fight, though. And there we go, okay. Spore Spawn is dead. 
We can grab some pickups from his remains, which sounds kind of creepy, but whatever. And then we'll climb up this little ledge here. You can recharge a little more if you need to. But you want to bomb this pipe because... Or stand on it, rather. You'll fall down a huge shaft. Which will take you to your first super missile pickup. So now we can use super missiles. Uh, to use super missiles, just like selecting missiles, just gotta press the select button twice. And super missiles can actually uh, destroy green doors. With only one miss super missile. You don't need five super missiles like the pink doors need five missiles. But, um, yeah, that's basically what we get here. So let's go ahead and test this theory. Uh, super missiles can also knock out hidden enemies if they're hiding somewhere. So, uh, be careful of that. But for now, we can actually continue on. We can go back to the bottom room where we found the charge beam. Yeah, the charge beam is actually intended to be gotten after this boss fight. But, again, I decided to grab it first because it does make one section a little easier. Plus, I mean, there's no reason not to grab it, I guess, if it's available, so. Yes, let us continue on. Um, I think we'll be stopping the video here soon, but let's get through this little area first. Have another recharge station if you need it. And up here we actually have a yellow door. But we can't do anything with that. And over here, if you wall jump, you can actually make it inside this pipe. Where you'll find a missile expansion. Once again, I think you need another item to actually get inside this pipe. You normally would need the high jump boots, but... A wall jump also works, because wall kicks will work. And yes, I'm quoting Mario now. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, here we have a little door that we can only open from this side if we uh, shoot this little button right here. Uh, you'll find doors that have blue buttons and doors that have green buttons. If they have green buttons, you have to have super missiles, so keep that in mind. Okay, now we're in this room with cactus plants. Uh, right here you want to run across this, because the floor will break behind you. And if we do that, we're actually back in another part of Brinstar, which I like to call the red part of Brinstar, because, well, it's red. Does that make sense? I hope so. Uh, you can come up here, but you'll find that you can't really do much, so let us, uh, go down. Down to bigger and greater things, and these stupid guys. Uh, those guys will suck your health, so get them off you as soon as possible. And then we'll fall all the way down here, and we'll be temporarily stuck until we get a certain item, so... Hooray for getting stuck. Also, in this room, we have our very first energy uh, fill-up station. So our energy can get refilled. And if we continue on through this way, we have a room with water. Right now, if you're inside water, you can't really jump very high. So you'll have to actually jump over this. Which is not a problem for me. Thankfully, Samus is very agile. He can jump very far. I guess she was taking some lessons from Mario. Uh, as you can see up here, we have a block we can destroy. And if we come up here, we can actually find something very nice. Need a super missile to get through here. And in this room, we have another... Um, I think this is actually the optional um, upgrade. But we have the Spazer. The spacer is an upgrade to your normal shot, where instead of one shot, you'll actually fire a three-layered shot. And if you charge up your beam, you can do a much bigger shot as well. 
I really like this phaser because it does help out when fighting enemies. But again, it is unrequired. Also, if you uh, have a charge built up and you uh, turn into Morph Ball, you'll actually drop a lot of bombs. So, uh, just thought I'd point that out. But with our uh, new Spazer in hand, we can actually get caught by this guy and get screwed over. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. Thank you. No. Come on, why am I not jumping out of here? Okay, there we go. Uh, is there anything up here that I can get, or would this be pointless? No, I think this is just kind of a little preview, I guess. Oh well, let's uh, continue on. Uh, I think I'm actually going to end the video after I get through this little pipe section right here. Uh, we're actually no longer in Brinstar, we're actually in an area called Meridia. But, um, this section's only three screens long. And it's mainly just a preview of what we'll see later. Because after that, we're back in Brinstar. And, uh... Hmm, there seems to be something over here. Before we investigate, though, let's go down here to the new area. Where we can find a save state, or a save point. And, uh, actually, uh, stop the video. We're in another very familiar area of the Metroid series. This is Norfair which is normally the lava section of the game. I don't remember which room is the save point. I want to say it's the green room up here. And I would be wrong. That's okay, though. That's okay. We can uh, search for the room. It's not in there. I know that for a fact. Uh, maybe it's here. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, uh, this is Slim Kirby. It's been Let's Play Super Metroid. I'll see you guys next time when we uh, explore this new area. So, yeah, see you guys later.